walked in a fishy Saturday. Some brand new is coming. I just picked up a 75 gallon fish tank from Petco. They have that dollar annual sale, which is great. Save a lot of money. I can set something up. I'm getting ready for two cichlids, actually not cichlids, a catfish called the Nile Gooch and also a Giardini Arowana. And they're gonna be about three inches long, but they don't grow out. So you're gonna watch the whole video how I set up a tank, how I remove the filtration from the tanks and how I get one going because I wanna get cycled in a week. Usually tanks take about three to four weeks to cycle depending on if you use any chemical filtration. So I'm gonna get set up and you can watch. All right, so this tank is done, it's on the stand. However, one of the things people don't know about fish tanks, you need to have healthy biological media. So what I need to do is take the bottom of the stand, sorry, bottom of the tank, and I'm gonna fill it with sand from already established tanks. So I'm gonna turn the camera to the other side, and you guys are gonna see. So the tank right there where Flagtail and Ray's house, and you see right at the top, I'm gonna move all the sand, not all, but a lot of the sand in the bottom, because a lot of biological, healthy stuff is in the substrate. I'm gonna remove this out of this tank, put it in this tank, as you guys can see, and fill the bottom with that tank. So stay tuned, the tank will be filled. So stay tuned, next shot, tank is filled. Okay guys, I moved all that healthy bacteria, sand, out of tank that's already established. Now what I'm gonna do is to help cycle this better, I'm gonna put the sand I have in bucket from the other tank that I just showed you that's healthy beneficial bacteria into the new tank. You guys gonna watch me do that? I didn't grab all the sand out, there's no reason to do that, so I'm gonna show you something else I'm gonna do in the future, but all the sand is out that I needed to get it really established. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in here, nice and slow, and I'm gonna spread it out so you guys can see the tank. All the sand, let it come out. There we go. Get it all up. Still more sand inside, so you can get the rest of the sand out. And get this tank cycling through, and you guys will be able to see what I do next. All the sand coming out. I just removed the sand out of this tank. As you can see, Ray's probably buried already. It's a little cloudy, but that's typical. So right now, this tank is currently running an FX4 filtration. They use, they always say that's the Cadillac or the Gucci uh, aquarium. So that tank has been running now for at least two months with good beneficial bacteria. So in the new tank, which you guys just saw earlier, is where I'm gonna actually put this filter in that tank and now, if I go over here, I have a new FX4 filter. I'm gonna take the new one, put it on the old tank, because the old tank already has beneficial bacteria in the filter on top, HOB, hang back filter, and also in the sand at the bottom, and it got the sponge filter. So our fish should be happy, and I'm getting ready for the new fish. Stay tuned for that one. Okay, so FX6 filter is installed. We got the outlet here. So that means that water flows in that um, pipe over there, out through here. But what I did to make more flow, right? Depending upon the fish you're dealing with, you gotta, I, this is the filter it comes with, right? I disconnect this valve and I put a longer and bigger one inch valve to get better flow among my tanks. That means water's flowing faster, this filter you can filter 250 gallons per hour. This is a 75 gallon tank. I always over filter my tanks because a lot of fish, especially the kind of fish you have, produce a lot of waste. And how often you feel, feed them also produce a lot of waste. So more filtration, the better. This is just one filtration. I'll be doing a second one. I'm waiting for Amazon for delivery to show up. Once that comes, I will slap it on this tank and we will start. 
Well, guess what? I asked and I should receive Amazon knock and uh, filter from Tidal has arrived. That means if you notice here, there's a filter for skimming. So a lot of times in tanks on the top, if you don't pay attention closely, there will be like a film, which is kind of cloudy. And I just like the way it looks. Usually it's pretty okay with the film. So on a Tidal filter, they have little slits here where water can flow in, get filtered through here and come out. This filter can filter 110 gallons per hour. So FX4, 250, 110 on this one. So that means that I'm gonna be able to feed my, feed my fish, quality food, keep down the water changes on top of that. So if you look inside one of these filters, you're gonna see a pad at the bottom, which you guys can see that. And this is pretty much rocked a biological filtration. So the one inside is chemical, biological filtration. Now what I'm gonna do is on top of this, I'm gonna stuff, let me just grab it and show you guys. So this one's pretty easy. I got some cheap polyfill. I'm gonna stuff in the top of the tank. Stuff it right inside there, not tank, but the filter. And what it's gonna allow you to do is all that poop and stuff gets caught inside the polyfill. So when it's time for me to do water changes and maintenance, just throw this away. Got a cheap bag of this on Amazon. Um, and it's like 11 bucks and throw it away we need it. So you guys stay tuned. Tank is almost ready to cycle. All right, I'm back on a final day. I filled up the tank. It's about, I don't know, not even a quarter full. So I'm gonna fill the rest of the tank up. I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I wanna save money, quote unquote. So I'm gonna do this decent water in the tank here. So let me swivel the camera around so you guys can see the tank. So in the big tank, so water in the big tank, which is to the left, is gonna go pumped into this tank here, right? Save myself some water, save myself some money, right? Um, so I'm gonna do that. So stay tuned and wait till it's big. All right, hose is in, water is going. So pretty soon this tank will be filled up with tank water that can do a water change on that tank. And you know, as, as I dig deeper into this hobby and I really think about, I used to be so embarrassed telling people I was in a fish tank hobby. Now those out there may say, well, that doesn't make sense. Why are you embarrassed? Because I want to fit in. And if my friends or people I know are not into this, I say to myself, well, I don't tell anybody about it because it's a secret because I want to fit in. And especially growing up and as a young adult because you're just trying to find your place in the world, trying to find your identity, trying to find out who you, who, who you are. That's an ongoing thing because it can always change. So, when you don't know who you are, or you're shy of sharing your hobby with somebody else, it's important to realize is that we are perfect the way we are. And to justify the fact we're not part of the majority, but we are, let's say, a minority, it's okay. Right? And not everybody has to be in what you're into. Not everybody has to like what you like. But however, don't shy away what you like or what you like to do. If that's reading books, if that's in the fish tanks, remote control cars. When I was not into myself or being who I was, it was really hard to, to overcome challenges. It was really hard to build my self-esteem. It was really hard to just find my way in this world. You know, I, I don't think we're ever understanding or knowing about self-esteem, how to build it. We're just kind of, hey, keep doing this. If you're repetitive at something, you'd be good at it and build your confidence, self-esteem. But however, life is so multi-dimensional. I remember being told not black enough. I remember being told you're too white. I've been told you're whitewashed. Uh, I've been told all these things. And that kind of gets to the point where, where do you fit in? Where do you belong? What do you mean? And it's really hard. I didn't, I didn't and down until I hit 34, uh, 36, I really understand that, hey, I could be something different. And hey, I, could, I can enjoy hobbies. I can enjoy myself. Because you're, you're always trying to be somebody you're not and try to fit in. And you don't have to do it anymore. I'm telling you those out there shooting this video because you don't have to be anybody you don't want to be. You don't have to conform with what society says. You don't have to do be, just because cultural or family or whatever does something. You can be an individual, and when you have, and when you face challenges of trying not to conform to society or be different, it's gonna be really hard. You're gonna have pushback. 
people are not gonna like it. But however, you're doing what you need to do to build your confidence. And that's the main thing. Build your confidence who you are and just, you know what? You have one life to live and you're perfect the way you are and challenge yourself to go against confidence. Go against norms, whatever the norms are. And that's what I choose to do now in my life. I don't want to be like everybody else. I don't want to fit in. I don't want to be cultural norms. I want to be myself, be Ron, be RJ, and be that person. So, thank you for up. And we're going to keep that and stay tuned for the last video. As you can see, tank is filled, heaters are on, and uh, it is ready to start cycling. Uh, cycling can take up to a month if you do a natural cycle process, or because I added the sand I described yesterday, because it's the second day of shooting, I add some beneficial bacteria in the sand. Um, I add the new filter on, I added some. So this one particular filter, I got some media from another filter I have already there. So it's cycle faster. Also, what I can do is a product called Beneficial Bacteria. I can add that to my tank to be the process so you can cycle tank, tank in like a week or two. So it's been pretty interesting to see what happens. I'll do another wire test and I'll take another video. Let's see how the tank is going because I got two high-end species coming in, two monster fish, but they're babies now that will be coming and I'll show you guys. Always, thanks for listening. Thank you.